Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about quantum numbers and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to how to write electronic configuration of elements. So let's see what all questions we'll be covering in this video. Write the electronic configuration of the following compounds. Uh, first is zinc which has atomic number of 30. Before telling you the technique to write the electronic configuration I just want to review few important points which form the basis of writing the electronic configuration. Here you can see the sequence of filling of electrons in orbitals belonging to different energy levels as per the Aufbau principle. Now what is Aufbau principle? Aufbau principle is also known as the building up principle. It states that in the ground state of an atom, the electrons are added progressively to the various orbitals in increasing order of energies starting from the orbital of lowest energy. In this sequence you can see that different principal energy levels are given. N stands for the principal quantum number and N represents the main energy level and as their uh, energy level increases their energy of the orbitals increases. So this sequence is as per the increasing energy. So that means 1s will be having less energy as compared to 2s and 2s will be having less energy as compared to 2p. So as discussed in the previous videos in detail that what determines the relative order of energies of various orbitals. So this is predicted by the Bohr-Herberry rule which form the basis of this of both principle. This Bohr-Herberry rule states that the relative order of energies of various orbitals is predicted by using n plus l rule. So this is the basis of the of power principle and if we follow this n plus l rule we need not to remember the sequence or the pattern of uh, orbitals in the increasing order. Automatically and very easily we can write the electronic configuration of any element. So let us understand this Boerberry rule. N plus L rule. N stands for principal quantum number and L stands for the azimuthal or angular quantum number. Principal quantum number determines the main energy level whereas the azimuthal quantum number determines the subshell or what we can say the orbital in which electrons is present. So uh, as per this rule energy is directly proportional to n plus l. That means if we calculate the n plus l of an orbital and if n plus l is less as compared to other orbital, that orbital will have less energy. But if n plus l is more, that orbital will have more energy as compared to the other. So the orbital having lower n plus l will be filled first as compared to the other uh, orbitals which have greater or higher n plus l. In case two orbitals have same n plus l, so what we gonna do in that case? In that case we will fill that orbital which has lower n as compared to the one which is higher l. So this is the basis we'll be following uh, in writing the electronic configuration. Now you have understood the concept so I'll quickly revise uh, about the maximum number of electrons and the value of orbitals. The maximum number of electrons which an s orbital can accommodate is 2 P will accommodate 6, D will accommodate 10, and the F will accommodate 14. So when L is 0, it determines S orbital. When L is 1, it determines P orbital. When uh, L is 2, it determines D orbital. And when L is 3, it determines F orbital. So now we know the basis. It's time us to write the electronic configuration of zinc with atomic number 30. First of all, I will write the principal quantum number, that is 1, and then I will write the orbitals. 
Now we will apply N plus L rule, which is Boerberi rule. In this case, we don't have more than one orbital, so we will just fill the maximum number of electrons in S orbital, that is 2. In this case, uh, N plus L will be 2 plus 0, that is 2, 2 plus 1, that is 3. Please remember one thing while writing the n plus l for a particular principal quantum number. Along with that, please write the n plus l of the uh, higher principal quantum number so that you can compare. Like you can see in this case, uh, 3 plus 0, it is 3. And uh, here, 3 plus 1 is 4. If I compare 2s and 2p, 2s has lower n plus l, so I will fill this first. But in this case of 2p and 3s, both of them have same n plus l. So in this case, if the n plus l is same, then the orbital having lower principal quantum number will be filled first. So I will fill this p orbital first and then S. And now in this case, this is 3 plus 1 is 4, this is 3 plus 2 is 5, and this is 4 plus 0 is 4. Now in these two cases, again n plus l is same, but I will fill 3p because this has lower principal quantum number. So I will write 6 here and I will write 2 here. Now let me check how many electrons I have filled. So till here we have filled 20 electrons. Now 10 more left. Now if I compare 4 plus 1, that is 5. Uh, 4p and 3d have same n plus l, but I will give preference to 3d because this has lower principal quantum number and it can accommodate maximum of 10 electrons, so I will fill the balance 10 electrons here. So we have written the electronic configuration without remembering this sequence and we need not to use 4d and 4f. Now the question arises how you will write the final electronic configuration with the pattern in which you have filled the electrons or with the pattern in which there is increasing principal quantum number. I'll tell you how to write the electronic configuration in a correct manner and why we will use that electronic configuration as the final answer. Here you can see I have written electronic configuration uh, into form. First in the filling pattern and here I have written the electronic configuration with the ascending principal quantum number in which 4s orbital is the outermost uh, orbital. So uh, which one to follow and uh, which one is the correct way of writing the electronic configuration. So for that we will look at the uh, diagram of an atom. Here you can see the diagram of an atom. For the sake of the simplicity, I have taken the orbits. This is their first energy shell, this is second, this is third, and this is fourth. Uh, if we consider the activity of electrons, that is gaining of electrons, or losing of electrons, or sharing of electrons, then uh, these all activities, or you can say the reactions, are uh, done from the outermost shell and it is the principal quantum number which determines the main energy shell. That means energy of main shell is directly proportional to principal quantum number and as we move away from the nucleus the energy of the main shell increases and the tendency of an electron to take part in the reaction increases because it is loosely bounded to the nucleus. The attractive force between this electron and the nucleus will decrease with distance. So what I'm trying to say here that it is a principal quantum number which determines the main energy shell as well as the activity of electrons present so keeping this as the basis of the reactivity of an atom, then 
writing the configuration in the ascending order of principal quantum number is the appropriate method. This is the correct method of writing the electronic configuration of any element. This pattern is uh, as per the n plus l rule which is Boerberry rule which forms the basis of the of Bohr rule for filling up the electrons in various orbitals. But we cannot use this configuration to, to write the final electronic configuration. So we need to write the electronic configuration keeping the ascending principal quantum number as the basis. Sometimes it becomes quite lengthy to write the electronic configuration in this manner. So in order to simplify it, we will use the electronic configuration of noble gases. I'll tell you how. All you have to do is to uh, choose the nearest noble gas configuration. The atomic number of zinc is 30, so the nearest one is argon. So I will write argon here, which has atomic number 18. So I will eliminate 18 electrons from this configuration. Here I have eliminated 18 electrons and I will be writing 3D10 4S2. So this is the electronic configuration of a zinc by involving the electronic configuration of nearest noble gas. Let me consider one more example of yttrium with atomic number 39. Here first of all I will write the principal quantum numbers one then I will write orbitals. Now I will follow n plus l rule. Here it's 2, then 2 plus 0, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 0. I will fill this with 2 and out of 3s and 2p I'll give preference to 2 because it has a lower quantum number. This is 6 and this is 2. Then I have 3 plus 1 which is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 4 plus 0 is 4. So I will fill 6, then I will fill 2, and then I will fill 10. Till here we have 30 electrons filled. Now next, this is 4 plus 1, that is 5, 4 plus 2, that is 6, 4 plus 3, that is 7, and this is 5 plus 0, that is 5. So out of these two I will uh, fill 4p first, this is 6, and 3 more are left, so I will fill 2 here, and out of 4d and 4f, 4d has lower n plus l, so I will fill this with one electron, which is the last one. So we will not be using the 4f orbital, neither the 5p orbital. As discussed earlier, that we will be using this electronic configuration for just filling up the electrons as per the n plus l rule, which is the Boerberry rule. But when we have to write the final electronic configuration, we will use the concept of ascending principal quantum number. In case you want to write this electronic configuration by involving the noble gas electronic configuration, then I'll tell you how we can write. All you have to do is to consider the nearest noble gas configuration. As the atomic number of yttrium is 39, so we will consider the noble gas configuration of krypton. That is krypton. I'm writing here is consist of atomic number 36, so I will eliminate 36 electrons from here. So I've eliminated 36 electrons from here and I left with 4d1 and 5s2. So this is the electronic configuration of yttrium involving the electronic configuration of noble gas. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.